Briley bit her lower lip as she studied Casey's face there in the kitchen of the main ranch house. Really? she asked anxiously. You don't mind? Casey, who was peering at a page in an old cookbook, an apron tied around her tiny waist, scratched away a splatter mark with one fingernail and chuckled. Of course I don't, she said, giving the words a musical lilt, as she often did. Sometimes it was hard to decide if Casey was talking or singing. She had music in her at the cellular level, it seemed, and she exuded it. I told you I wanted to invite Zane over for supper one day soon, since he and I are acquainted. Besides, this is still your home, too. You don't need my permission to have guests, Briley. Earnest tears glistened in those famously green eyes for the briefest of moments. Then she added huskily, You're not feeling shut out like you're not part of the family, are you? Because you are. 